Hi there. Now for this last part of the question, we are asked to find the range then of the function f in this domain x between 0 and 4 inclusive. And the answer is that f of x is between minus 5 upon 4 and 5 inclusive. So there's two methods then that you can use really to do this question and I've outlined both of them. I personally prefer the completing the square method, but it's up to you. The other method is by differentiation and locating the minimum stationary point. What we've got here is a quadratic equation. So we expect a U-shaped curve. So by completing the square, basically what we do is we have a bracket, we put a square around the outside, we halve the coefficient of x, which is going to be minus 3 over 2. Put it in here so that when you square this bracket out, you end up with x squared. And then you end up with twice this product, which will give you the minus 3x. And then you'll end up with this term all squared, which is plus 9 over 4. By subtracting 9 over 4, these two terms give us x squared minus 3x and then by adding the one on the end I get exactly the same as this result up here. So minus 9 quarters plus 1 gives us minus 5 quarters and so what we can do now is sketch the graph. If we take the graph of just y equals x squared for any real value of x, I'm not restricting the domain at all, it's going to be a parabola, a u-shaped parabola going through the origin. And then when we do x minus 3 over 2, all squared, what that does is it translates the graph 3 over 2 units to the right. And then the minus 5 over 4 pulls the graph down minus 5 upon 4 units. So this is going to bottom out. The minimum point will be at 3 over 2 minus 5 over 4. Then if we restrict the domain to x is greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 4, then we just remove this part of the graph that is to the left of the y-axis. So you get a graph looking like this. Okay. And this point in the denominator here is going to have the coordinates 3 over 2, but its y coordinate is going to be minus 5 upon 4. So when it comes to the range, we're looking at every possible value for y that we get in this graph. And it extends from minus 5 upon 4 up to the value 5. The value 5 is obtained because, remember, the domain goes between 0 and 4. And if you put 4 into here, as I've done over here, you get 5. Okay, So you're going from the minimum point up to the highest point, which is at 5. You can locate that minimum point of minus 5 upon 4 by using my second method, differentiation. Just differentiate f of x here and you get 2x minus 3. Put it equal to 0 because the gradient will be 0 at that minimum point. x turns out to be 3 over 2, which is what we found out just by completing the square here. Substitute it into here for x and you'll see it comes out at minus 5 upon 4. Okay, so two methods then to get that range for F.